another gloomy day, day but it's not light rain so no problem. Uh, this is uh, Roman ruins at oh, Samiz and uh, this was the, the arena that uh, a major city uh, well it's the capital of southern France equivalent to uh, Pom Pompeii uh, in size now this, this part of the Roman city was uh, was excavated, just the arena that uh, most of the rest of the Roman city is, is buried uh, under these uh, buildings here, modern buildings, entrance to the Museum di Archaeology, <laughs> the neat uh, site of the image. The Roman uh, artifacts are inside there, but uh, I'll just walk up to the monastery and have a walk through this park. There's the back of the Matisse Museum. <laughs> we spend an hour in there, yeah, but I'm not uh, not one for paintings, I'm afraid. <laughs> but look at this. This is the uh, these steps. This is what makes worth, worth a visit. The excavated remains of a large Roman city. Uh, I find the entrance though. Apparently, you access the, uh, the Roman remains through. Uh, through the uh, Archaeology Museum. I'll just go over to the Monastery de Simis up here somewhere. There's these olive trees. There's the monastery. Up there. These are pretty fancy stacks. Up to the monastery. You see entrance, and uh, seems to be quite a few cars parked here. The museum inside the monastery was closed, <coughs> but here are the monastery gardens. Looks like there's a few people here. Uh, oh, well, 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 worth visiting. <laughs> Out from the monastery gardens towards Nice. You can see a fair way up in altitude. I've got quite a bit to this garden. It's, it's, all, it's all worth visiting. Of course, it's a pity about the weather. It's not a bit... Come, come to the south of France, really, for the sun. They do have these uh, days when it's uh, kind of a, well, English in uh, weather monastery. And there's a there's a view. <laughs> yeah. There's a view of the suburbs of uh, Nice. You can see how big a city it is. That's a population, a metropolitan area, about one million people. And uh, so it's a big city. There's well tended gardens. I wonder if the monks, I wonder if it's an actual, <laughs> an actual monastery where the monks are in residence. And if so, if they come out and tend these, uh, these gardens. I see some steps going there, or just to see where, it see where they, they lead to. The steps leading up to this place here. Looks like a, kind of a shaded area. Wood wooded area at the park. Now hopefully there's an exit over there somewhere. This is the exit. That wooded part where the lady was exercising her dog. Uh, okay, here's the exit. Right. Then to the monastery gardens again. Shot at the monastery and the gardens. And then I'll go back to the archaeology museum. It's gain entrance to the Roman remains. Okay, I'm back in the 
the olive tree. <laughs> you know, these, uh, you know, look at them all, hundreds of them. Some of them are quite ancient of these. There's a name I recognise, Lionel Hampton. Yeah, in the park. I think they had jazz festivals uh, at one time in this park. Inside the museum, originally a Neolithic settlement here. Unfortunately, it's all in French, that. And that's a statue of the Roman Empress uh, <laughs> excavated from these gardens. And I presume all these busts were uh, ex excavated. You don't actually see anything that complete in uh, in England. They, all the stones have been pilfered for <laughs> other buildings. Yeah, it's a reconstruction, a model of a Roman ga galley. <laughs> yeah, quite quite sizable ships. It's, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you can certainly travel and carry goods. Right across the Mediterranean. Look at the museum. Looks like there's a collection of funeral stones. So considering these, uh, these, uh, uh, well, people obviously uh, there's no flowers on these uh, because uh, over 2,000 years ago, this looks like a Roman coffin excavated. Wall. With the inscriptions, Latin inscriptions, all of course uh, <laughs> big, big noises in their day, but uh, well, it's now long forgotten. Area where the Roman ruins, and the, the canopy of it. They, these were baths, Roman baths. It was quite an extensive uh, site. <laughs> you can see how impressive structures they were back in those days, before they all <laughs> taken down, eh, by bad parents and subsequent uh, uh, generations. the back of the Matisse Museum, there's the museum back there, and here's the part that's impressive. That's fairly complete, uh, well, <laughs> as the ruin goes, uh, uh, northern baths, right, it's uh, excavated. Yeah. It's a gloomy day, again, but, uh, <laughs> Wander around that building there, that's impressive remains. You wouldn't see anything like that in England. But of course there's structures like that galore in, in uh, well, in Rome. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately I can't get any closer. There is, there is a, a pathway up there, but 
it's uh, yeah, it's roped off. So uh, yeah, you can't can't get any any closer. There's a column there, a stone column. It's a device with the carvings at the top. Apparently that was uh, used as part of a farmhouse, and that saved it from destruction. All Roman baths. Well, I think that's the uh, the end of this visit. I'll I'll go back now, and uh, I might see if I have time to visit the uh, the old town of Nice, the old part of Nice, uh, this evening. Of course, we'll return return back home uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, luckily, the you know the it's, it's dried up, so... There's a school uh, playground, or, or an old playground. It's actually a athletic field, by the look of it. Some juggers running around. Spring blossoms are out. This is Vaughan. Vaughan uh, tram stop. It's all pretty straightforward, really. One disadvantage this apartment I'm staying in is that uh, it's a, a climb up this hill. Uh, Alright, if you have a car, you can go into a garage here. But uh, I've got to go those few steps more to get up to the apartment. But uh, there's an alternative <laughs> a way to get to the apartment. But these steps here take all the way down to the road. But you can see there's no handrail. It's uh, slippery when wet. So a problem there's the view. Uh, I can't see it from the apartment, but uh, view over to uh, Castle Hill. Uh, nice. There's a nice tree just about to come out and bud. So uh, the spring here is is earlier than it is in the UK, of course. One more steps. I say it's not too far short of a hundred foot climb to the bus stop. Up to here, but <laughs> other than that, it's very present here. The apartment's just uh, along there. And here's some alternative stairs. You can see uh, the descent. Uh, but these, luckily, have got handrails. 